So we are uh, obviously disappointed uh, that the court did not dismiss the indictment, but uh, Judge Burke has ruled, and we intend to continue to vigorously defend this case uh, to the best of our ability, and we remain confident, uh, despite the court's ruling today, that ultimately, um, at a trial of this case, uh, Mr. Weinstein will be uh, completely exonerated. Today's ruling was a technical ruling on the law, and although disappointed, it does not in any way suggest that the case against Mr. Weinstein is going to end badly. Uh, to the contrary, uh, based on the evidence that I am aware of, I believe that if we proceed to trial, and I think we will fairly soon, I think Mr. Weinstein will be exonerated. I also want to mention one other thing, because we have been bombarded by these inquiries. This is not about the Me Too movement. This is defending a specific criminal case. If the Me Too movement um, helps level the playing field for women throughout the world, then we are strongly supporting that movement. A movement should not, however, be permitted to push an indictment that is deeply flawed, as we believe this movement uh, has done in this case. So. Yeah. In reference to what Mr. Brofman, who represents Mr. Weinstein, stated about the Me Too movement, I would take issue with that. This indictment was based on evidence and testimony before the grand jury. It was not based on the Me Too movement. So let's be clear about that. The motion filed by Mr. Weinstein's attorneys to dismiss this case was based on, in my opinion, in part, unjustified speculation, not supported by any evidence or any evidence that was stated, I think was out of context and will be explained at the trial. I'm attorney Gloria Allred. I represent Harvey Weinstein. So this case is moving forward, and I hope that as many accusers as possible will testify that fit the guidelines. That's all. Uh, I will say that also there in my opinion, it's still time for other accusers to come forward to law enforcement if they want to speak to me in confidence prior to that. I'm, I'll see you on March 7th. Thank you. Why was it important for you to be here today? Because I'm here to stand with the survivors. Very happy. That's right. We need to get rid of the statute of limitations. Mm -hmm. Cuomo and the New York State Legislature need to stop that. Marissa, why was it important for you to be here today? Stand with survivors. from any of you guys? We just any? gave our statement. That, that was, you know, but from you guys.